Hello, this is the image choice template at SharePoint-boards.com. This takes an ordinary choice field in SharePoint and allows you to display an image in addition to the text. This could be useful um, where a picture is going to help. Um, this is comparable to when you format a choice field to use icons, but instead of doing that, um, you can use actual pictures. In the example here, we've got some categories of different types of electronic equipment, and you can see a use case of where this might be handy. This is an easy field to use. Um, basically, you just need to have a choice field and get your images ready to go. Once you have those images, you can load them into the local site assets area, which is in every SharePoint site. You should create a field which you're going to use to store those pictures. Uh, <coughs> you can, or a folder name. You can use uh, with a space or not, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, just go ahead and create a folder specifically for the images that are going to be used with this field. As you can see, I've loaded in my different images, which I'm going to use with my field into a folder called Asset Categories. Um, so with that, I can go back and another thing is you have to select the image type. In my case, I decided to use PNG. That's a popular and common image type. You can also use JPEG or GIF if you want to. Um, that's up to you, but you just need to make sure that they're all of the same image type in order for this to work. And then you can select that from the uh, configuration options here. Um, so in terms of getting this going, uh, you can you know, take a look at different theme options um, and you can adjust that accordingly. And the width, as we'll see in a second, adjusts dynamically according to the column width. I'm going to use theme one and I need to go ahead and put in the folder name, which is called Asset Categories. They are PNG, and that's pretty much all I need to do. Uh, naturally, I can adjust uh, things like the font and some of the colors and options like that. I'm gonna stick with the defaults in this case. Click Copy Template, and then just follow the directions in the box, and then you're ready to go over to SharePoint. Click on the column header, column settings, format this column, advanced mode, and then paste and save. Okay, and there you see that it's changed over. And I have inline edit mode turned on. You don't have to do that, but if you want to allow for that to be editable in the list view, um, you go ahead and check that option. If you don't want it to be like that, you want it just where that's editable only in the edit form, just uncheck that inline edit option. Okay, uh, so I can go in here and click on this and then select from my different categories. And as you can see, it can change over. And that works the same if I go into the edit form. Um, looks a little bit different, but it's the same concept. You can see it's gonna be wider in here just based on the width of this form. But uh, in any case, that's how it works. And then you can also change the orientation of the label. Maybe you like the label on top or even to the left or the right. You can adjust the label direction um, to get that change. So if I make that switch, I can just replace the code that I already put in there. So I'll do the same steps I did before. Replace that code and save. And now we've got labels on top. That's pretty much all there is to it. So this is a way to make for a more compelling user interface. And this would be useful in a situation where you've got categories or a list of choices. And rather than using an icon or just a simple background color, uh, maybe you actually have pictures of these types of items um, as I do in my case. So that is the image choice template. It's available um, at SharePoint-boards.com. Uh, one other thing I'll show you, as you can see, this will adjust dynamically according to the column width. So you can tweak that, um, you know, according to your own taste and then just save the view. You can get these templates at SharePoint-boards.com. If you do not yet have an account, you can get signed up for 21 free templates. 
Uh, and then if you go on and use this, um, there are a whole bunch of templates available for you. This is one of 178 templates as of this video that are available at that site. Good luck.